So welcome back. This video is a mishmash of footage that I've had that I tried to put together into a consolidated video. The timelines don't look like they're right, which is why I'm doing this at the start to sort of introduce you to the first cut, which was me arriving in Luna and I got my iPhone out. And there are other pieces that I recorded as I was going through that. The tailgate footage that you see me talking about where I came from Aguero and where I was going to go. Now I was in two minds of whether I was going to get to Luna from the top of Aguero on that ridge line. It's about 45 minutes to get to the trailhead in Luna and I didn't know if I could make it. So when I finished recording the tailgate footage, which you'll see, it was about quarter past four in the afternoon and I didn't know when the sun was going to go down and I didn't really want to be out on those trails at dark. So I got myself to Luna, figured that I'd have enough time to do the 30 kilometer tra uh, trail and then did it. So I turned the GoPro on here facing forward and then put a GoPro up above my shoulders and just recorded. So when you see that footage, that is me going through from Luna and you'll see the diversity of the landscape. You'll see how rocky it is in places, how smooth it is in places. You'll also see how dusty it is as well. So I will play that to music and add some music into that. The other video that I've posted is the full dash cam footage of that 30 kilometers. It's about 50 minutes. And I did rock up at the church at the very end of that trail, just as the sun was beginning to set. So I just made it and it was beginning to get dark, which you can probably see the lights are actually on on some of the footage. So I hope you enjoy it. Feel free to fast forward through the second one, which is the silently through the plains. It could get a little boring for you, but fast forward, have a look at the footage and it will give you an insight to what it actually looks like to drive through those parts of the trails. So I hope you enjoy both videos and I will see you on the next one. Cheers. So this is Aguero, hidden away in the base of the Pyrenees Mountains. You go over the top of these and it starts getting rocky and it starts getting mountainous. But what we're going to do, we'll go through the town. And this works its way from Aguero and the trail goes all the way down into the valley and eventually it goes up to the top. It's about five miles. They graded it the last time I was here in the Defender in October, but it's a really cool track. It's pretty easy to get through, nothing too difficult, but the scenery is spectacular, especially way up on the top there. There's a ridge line that goes all the way over and the view from the top of the ridge line, I'll send the drone up and you, we can actually look back on that. Now this is the smaller of the two and in the description down here I'll put the name so as not to embarrass the Spanish with my pronunciation. But this is the smaller of these two rock formations and on the other side if you go that way about five miles that's where these really spectacular rock formations are that are deeper red than this. And I don't know if you can see but up here there are be uh, bearded vultures on the top of those is where they, uh, they nest. And I can actually see in the sky, you might be able to. It's about half a dozen flying around. But when I came through here in June, there was probably about 30 or 40 of them flying high, high in the air, clearly looking for something to eat. But they all nest apparently on the tops of these mountains. So anyway, this is a Guerrero.
So welcome back, Aguero, over my shoulder. I'll show you a little bit more detail, but the video is up to this point, and the drone footage would show you what I've just done. So Aguero is pretty much in the foothills of where the Pyrenees begin to go up. And over in the distance, you can actually see that there is uh, this snow up there. And that's when it really begins to start going vertical over the other side. I've done this route a couple of times in the Defender. I've done it both ways. On the other side of the road, it heads down towards Luna and there are two tracks. Both of them are pretty closed in. I don't think they get a lot of traffic. And so I don't really want to go and uh, put pinstripes down this thing too early on. So I'm not going to do the second part. I'm going to head off down to Luna and then go do some of the, uh, the plane tracks and then just put the GoPro on and just leave it silently with no talking and no music. But this is an excellent track that has been graveled and I believe it's actually the main road to get to Aguero, which is over my shoulder. And a couple of times I've been down here. One, it's been really, really muddy. Um, today it's not too bad. Some parts lower down in the valley there, it's pretty muddy. And um, it's certainly kicked up some, some mud up underneath the, uh, the wheel arches. But this has been graded since I was here in October. And I think what they've done is because this is a main road, off the tarmac in front of me here. All the way down there, you can get normal cars down there and you can see by the, uh, the tracks and everything on here, I think some normal cars have been down there. Not sure how they would do in the mud halfway down and there are two crossings um, across some rivers, which I stuck the drone up and managed to get some footage of it. So this is the trail I was going to do way back when I started this trip. Um, when I came out of Bardenas Realis, I said I was going to go to La Llana and then head up to Aguero. Then I decided not to do it purely because of the weekend. And as I've mentioned before, a lot of the hunting goes on below me here. And I'll take the camera off the tripod and show you what it looks like anyway. But this is where you get a lot of the hunters, which is sort of this scrub pine forest. And out the back there is where, and in fact, I'm not sure if you can see it, but over there, um, there are some small kennels, but there's a lot of wild boar in this area apparently, and they get pretty aggressive, but I've never seen one. I've seen plenty of dogs scrabbling around trying to find them in packs, but uh, anyway, I decided to err on the side of caution. But this is where I came back to Aguero as I make my way back. I would highly recommend this. Now there is a name of this, um, this rock formations, and there's actually three of them. Underneath Aguero is sort of like the second biggest and I'll put a scrolling text along the bottom because I'm not going to bastardize the Spanish language of what they're called. But these are these three red rock formations that are in this um, south facing side of the Pyrenees. And I imagine that it just gets absolutely battered and it's eroded it down the, uh, the millennia. Millions of years have probably eroded this over a period of time into these rock formation shapes and the rain pummeling it as well. Um, but I'll put some other pictures in there and I'll tell you what they look like. So what so I'm going to do is I'm going to put the GoPro on the dash, just turn it on, show you some of the scenery, no comment, no music. If you want to fast forward, go ahead, fast forward through it. But it gives you an idea of some of the landscape. I'll cut some of this in and out and you can see the diversity of landscape. It's very similar to this, um, but you end up seeing a lot more of the plains, but it does get into this scrub pine forest and it gets quite bumpy in places, um, but then it just flattens out. So I won't interrupt it, enjoy it, fast forward if you have to. But this pretty much comes to, brings to an end, the shakedown test. I've done probably, I was looking at it last night, added this in with a couple of more, uh, probably about another 40 or 50 miles to go. In all, it'll probably be start nudging close to 300 miles of off-road. Not, nothing too taxing, nothing too difficult, but clearly the Range Rover has performed flawlessly. No problems, no faults whatsoever. Besides the issue that I had when I was coming out of the car park, when I put it on low mode to get in the car park, I got a suspension fault, but I think I believe it's a compressor error. And I think the compressor is struggling to pump them up from low down. But I've been riding around on here um, in high range or in high mode and I've actually gone into my easy lift kit and put it to one above that and I've had zero problems, zero faults, so all good. But when I get back, I will get the compressor sorted out. 
and that should be good to go from uh, for the rest of the year and probably 10 years more who knows but anyway so this brings an end the shakedown test just three videos of this and you've seen various types of trails that I've uh, put the Ranger over through nothing really major taxing for it nothing too difficult clearly there was some damage going through some ice but all in all very happy with what's gone on very happy with the way it's performed and it's a no-brainer the fact that the Defender is on its way out the good thing about that is that will release some funds and I've already started ordering some parts to be able to continue with the build nothing major uh, a pair of rock sliders on their way from uh, Land Rover Passion in Milan They'll probably be here in about three or four weeks but that should be pretty good that should give a lot of the uh, the side protection and i have started looking at pro speed sump guard on the front apparently they do fit there's a guy in the states that fitted one of those pro speed sump guards onto the front even though pro speed say nope doesn't fit but uh, there's a company called lucky eight in the states who have fitted the pro speed bash plates to zero six to zero nine models they can't confirm whether they'll fit but they see absolutely no reason why they won't so i might go ahead and buy one of those and then uh, see what that looks like anyway with that i thank you very much for watching don't forget to click and subscribe like the video if you like the video and with that i'll see you on the next one cheers